Hey folks, it's Greg and Janet with Strange RV Tours, and this is part two of our visit to the Jefferson Historical Museum in Jefferson, Texas. There's a little preview of an upcoming video. Diamonds and Death, the true tragic, tragic tale of Diamond Bessie Moore. See? The Burke's house is where they stayed. It's no longer here. Uh, see, it is apparently it burnt up. Yeah, it's a two-story building. Yeah, that's where they stayed while they they were here. The deadly jewels of Diamond Bessie. Wow. Told you they had a play or something about her. Yeah. This was drawings of Diamond Bessie and Abe Rothschild. Items in this case pertain to diamond to the Diamond Bessie murder trial. Wow. Well now look, Jan. The Excelsior Hotel registry, so they must be on there somewhere too. Hmm. But they use a fix Monroe as a fictitious name. So do you see Monroe on there? Not yet, but I do see Abe Rothschild's two-bladed knife taken from him by Sheriff W.E. Singleton when he was taken to Harrison County for security. Look at that whiskey jug, Jan. Somebody was a serious drinker. Pour a shot from that. Belonged to John M. Vine, Sheriff of Marion County, Marion County, 1874-1875. John Vines was appointed to Governor Hubbard as agent for the state of Texas to return Abe Rothschild from Ohio to Jefferson, Texas to stand trial for the murder of Diamond Bessie. I wonder which one of these cats here in jail is Abe. I don't know. That's a historical marker that was on the Brooks house where they stayed. Okay. That's a creepy story. This cabinet contains artifacts pertaining to Jefferson's early Jewish community. Okay, guys, we are on the second floor of the museum now. And this is part of the courthouse. Yes. The, the, the county courthouse. Federal courthouse. Federal courthouse? Federal courthouse, yes. Oh. Yeah, so this was a serious business court. Court courtroom. Yeah, you wouldn't come into this courthouse to fight a, a speeding ticket for your horse. Wow. Yes, this was the courtroom. Look at all the portraits. Look at that. They've already, they put a lady in jail. Yeah. Right here in the, in the courthouse. Yeah. Right in the courtroom. It's so fun. Vintage dress and accessories. That's a good looking dress. Isn't that pretty? Carmel by the sea. You know how I know that? It says so. No, oh, it's right here. <laughs> See, you guys thought I was just smart. It is beautiful. Abby Haywood. That's Abby Haywood, guys. Wow. She definitely liked attention. Having a painting that big made of her. It's amazing. Now, who's this cat? Where? I think he's going to be number eight. Peter Gaffney, 1850. He looks important. Oh my goodness. 
is. Look at this little seat. That'd be like in a hotel or something, huh? Yeah, that's to talk to people that you that are ugly. You don't have to face them while you talk. <laughs> Look how decent this is. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like it should hold whiskey. All those big Real decanters. Fun. That's beautiful. These are urns. For what? I don't know. A pair of Dresden urns. Maybe if you have a bunch of family members, you give each of them a little bit of the Persian. Victorian Dresden porcelain carriage and four horses. Just something decorative. Yeah. Amazing. Thing's a monster. Dolly Bell Rutherford Key. She opened Jefferson's first museum in her home known as the Blue Bonnet Farm in February of 1949. Wow. This is this one. Okay, he made this clock out of a scroll saw that was given to him as a child. Wow. For all the detail work. He probably worked on it from the time he was a child. Okay, and 1892, 17-year-old boy. Wow. Probably took him 15 years to make it, and somebody said, yeah, I'd like one too. Would you make one of those for me? Ran it continuously for 70 years. Wow. There's a lot of beautiful pieces here. Yes, it is. The, see this cabinet? Even the cabinet. Everything is just so detailed. Yeah, all the inlay work, too. Yeah. Wow. They're gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. This is Annie North right here. That's Annie North. Looking all pretty. Annie North was the daughter of the second Earl of Guilford and wife of John Holroyd, first Earl of Sheffield. John Berridge, the painter, was one of Sir Joshua Reynolds' gifted associates and pupils. He exhibited at the Royal Academy. The painting was given by Newhouse Galleries in New York. It's a little piano. French. A French piano. Ah, oh, because French people are smaller. That's how they have cantor lovers. <laughs> yeah. End up with wax all over your keys. Big name here in town. Yeah, maybe he may be related to our neighbor. Co founder of Jefferson Historical Museum. Hmm. Young Mother of Orbino by Vinciata, Joe King. There's just so much to see. You know, I would hate to have that name, Joe King. People would say, oh, you're joking. Look at this, Jan. Look at the color of these. Beautiful. Sapphire blue decanter set with enamel trim from the early 19th century. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is.
We couldn't have that in our house. Janet would drop it. Driftwood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is this thing? It says do not handle. No, I won't. Wooden Egyptian shrine from 325 BC. Wow. Yeah, we better not touch that. Look at this dude getting ready to throw a rock at somebody. I bet he's supposed to have a rope in his hand or something. Oh, he's got a seed or something in his. Oh, throw the seed, yeah. It's sour. Yeah. Hmm. It's gorgeous. Lots of beautiful items. Tapestry on the wall. Tapestry. This is a hall tree. I'm sure that you guys know what that is. But it looks like they have ashtrays down here instead. Yeah. Usually it's to hold uh, umbrellas. umbrellas. But Yeah, it's missing probably a part. Ah, okay. okay. I was wrong. Probably. That's not unusual. Cannon. Who? Cannon barrel made from E.B. McDonald from a locomotive axle in 1889. Originally mounted on the gun carriage in the yard below. Hmm. Uh, found the jail. There's a Texas flag with the Apollo 12 patch. Cool. So this is temporary. Yeah, they would hold them when they were probably... Get ready to go into fort. Yes. Makes Holding sense. cell. You want to try it, Jan? I can lock you in. She opens too slow. Look at that. See how this okay. slide out? Oh, okay. It slides all the way open. Yeah. You have more desk room. Surveyor's equipment. Obviously. A big old saddle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carriage lamps from the fire wagon. We have brass knuckles. Handcuffs for, that's gotta be for a lady or a kid. That's too small. Leg irons. There's a police club. There's a Colt Navy 36 caliber pistol. That's gorgeous. It is. Canteen. Post office stuff. Badge and billy club used by Homer Meisenheimer while serving as chief of police, city of Jefferson, 1938 to 1940. Lock and key used by Homer Meisenheimer on the East Texas Motor Freight Lines office in Jefferson from 1935 to 1938. There's a Springfield 50 caliber rifle with iron sights. This gun was supposedly used by Joe Davis to kill Cullen Baker on the morning of January 6, 1869. The U.S. government offered a $3,000 reward for Colin Baker. After his death, his body was brought to Jefferson and turned over to the military authorities of the 5th Military District. That's a double barrel. So 
the Winchester 1807. A double barrel shotgun, hammerless, 1890 to 1910, back behind it. So 134 Winchester rifle, model 90 in the back, and a Winchester lever action. This gun was purchased new by George H. Allen of Mount Pleasant, Texas, about 1890. At his death, the gun was left to W. H. Allen and then left to B. C. Broad Allen, who is now the donor that donated it to the museum. That room that we just left with the jail cell is the marshal's, was the marshal's office. Let's go in the U.S. Attorney's room. All right, we've got a collection of arrowheads. And I don't know what type of teeth those came from. Hopefully not a person. These were found in Harrison County and the south shore of Caddo Lake, which is very nearby where we're at. arrowheads modern Choctaw items part Choctaw Indian. Crystals. Everywhere you look there's something to see, something you missed. Yeah. Look at the size of these arrowheads, Jan. Oh, they, they, yeah, they're more for spears and stuff. Oh, like that's true. Cutting, yeah. cutting hides. There's, there's a lot of that, too. You know, I think the Indians would have fared much better had, better had they just made guns. Yeah. Right. So bad. So, yeah. What is this? Some type of a idol? Maybe a little toy for a kid, huh? I don't know. Huh? Uh, my sister used to hunt I don't, for arrowheads. I don't think the museum knew what it was either because it didn't say. Alright, we're going up to the top floor here. We got a bird cage. Yeah, going up the stairs. Got a bird cage and an old bicycle. Waverly bicycle from the 1890s. It looks like you can still ride that thing. An Amo. Look at that base. <laughs> Need some work. Yeah. Look at this man of wood. Wow. Yeah. Is that wood? No. Nah. Like no, nah, it's brass, isn't it? No. It's got the. Clarinet. This is a display from the Marion County African American School. Yes, 
It is what? Baby shoes. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. Baby shoes worn by Harold Holiday, born in 1916, died in 1918. Oh, just two. Son of Una Mae Holiday. Cape and bonnet. Belonged to, belong to Lydia Dixon Freeman, 1838 to 1920. Grandmother of Mrs. Bessie Phillips Davis, who lived at 301 North Alley in Jefferson from 1923 until her death. She wore the cape and bonnet when she dressed up. Yeah, I would assume. He shot Cotton scales. Huh. Furniture. This is all early twentieth century furniture, apparently. Trundle bed. Very neat place. A lot of stuff to look at. For sure. All right, folks, we hope you enjoyed our visit here to the historic, the, 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 the. okay, folks, we hope you enjoyed our visit here to the Jefferson Historical Museum in Jefferson, Texas. There is a lot of stuff to see here and a lot of really old stuff, historical stuff. So anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and hit the little bell down in the corner. And until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye. Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fit your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friends? As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Strange RV Tours is on